Okay, guys, we're up under the T-bird here. So, on the forums, people say don't do a C6 swap on these old T-birds. Well, they said the big reason is it's like almost impossible to get the cross member hooked up for the transmission. What a don! I caught two of these metal plates and punched these half-inch holes out in them. That's what my bolts are here for my transmission and uh oh there's my other lock nut or lock washer okay but uh yeah i'm gonna show you how we do this cross member so easily <laughs> get you a good view here uh, we're gonna have to move the camera somewhere here let me sit her down here huh okay Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this old cross member here. Set her up in here. I'm going this way first. Okay. So just a little bit off here. We're going to take these two bolts. Put this in here. And get this one settled in here work it past the rubber because this piece is a little shorter than the original one so you do have to switch this center piece here because the other one is too wide from the old transmission we gotta wiggle this sucker in here good get the other bolt in there Okay, now I gotta grab my impact. Okay, so we got our Milwaukee impact here. As you can see, they're not that far between our holes. Okay, so we're gonna take these old bolts here, and the new bolts, and we're gonna put this one up here. Oh, I just dropped the big bolt. What the hell? I'm I'm batting a thousand a day. Let me tell you. Okay, so we're gonna put this one in here and get it started. All these I had to use a wrench on. Exhausts in the way. Okay. See, the piece kind of moves up in there. And I've got the wrench here. That other arm here, that's for the park brake. And put it through when I'm done and readjust it. But there you go. So that's started. Then we're going to go on top and run this inch and a half by half inch bolt down through the cross member. If this is a hard job, please like quit trying to build cars or something. Because <laughs> this is definitely not a hard modification at all like I say there's plenty of adjustment you can get your uh, brake adjusted to where your emergency brake works properly so those are nice to have on an old car when things decide to fail what I'm doing up in here. I guess you can't see this plate behind the exhaust there. There you go. Okay. So I got these in here. Oh, I'm all over with the camera today. All I gotta do is tighten those two bolts and then we're gonna do the same thing over here. And I'll let you guys 
guys can see. It's hard to see under here too. These things are so wild. But yeah, let's see here. Get the other bolts here. Put this one up in there. There's my other plate. Man, if I could lose any one parts laying under this car, I'd be in trouble. <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna go up here and put this bolt in. It's right up under there, huh? If you're if you're into building cars, you can't figure this much out, you're in trouble. Rut row. Oh, <laughs> I gotta loosen the bolts on there so I can get this one in. That can uh, move quite a bit there. <laughs> Gotta make sure you're <laughs> where you want to be before you tighten it up. Tight, loosen this other one. The other side. Okay. Slide that up, boys. Oh man, that sucker don't slide very easy. That rubber in there get you. Okay. Here's my hole. Okay, that's the hole. Okay, so we're good there. I'll tighten these up off camera probably. We'll see how long the video is. It's too long. We'll just, or long enough. We'll just stop once we get these in. But yeah, this is literally the whole, the whole thing, everybody. Oh man, you can't hook up the cross member. The big problem with this car is it's a unibody. So you can't just move stuff and bolt into stuff. It has these one spots here that are specially reinforced for the cross member. Okay, so that's the, the big battle here. Now I gotta pry this piece over with a screwdriver probably to get it to line up. We'll see. We'll loosen that a little a little more. Okay, there we go. We can get her. Cool. <laughs> that thing's pretty tight fit. Okay, there we go. Now it's loose. <clears throat> get that, or I can press it back up and get that bolt started. <clears throat> Jeez, Louise. You literally have to like barely have these bolts in to get them both in there with the rubbers and everything else. Then you have to wiggle the rubber to where it's not blocking the holes. Like I say, this this transmission plate I found out when I was putting this together is a little bit narrower mounts on this other one. Like I say, with the with the piece from the other cross member, I'm able to get this to work. <clears throat> Oh, I about had it. <laughs> Thought I had a thread grab to get the impact on there. It's hard to turn up in this tight little spot here I got the car a little low I'm having a hard time fitting under here moving around okay. 
Well, here, let me get this baby in here. <clears throat> There we go. Oh man, about the time I about get it in there, my freaking arm's like giving out. Just so tired from doing this. <laughs> Between this and work, it's it's a, a bugger. Okay. <clears throat> He's running, running the ranch and doing car work. <laughs> I'm a busy dude. Well, we're going to call that a video there. I'm going to get this in, tighten them all up, and then I'll just hit these bolts real quick, tighten them up. But just wanted to show you how easy it was to adapt this. I don't know if I told you, I cut the little lip off this side of the cross member so these will fit through. And spit the bullet back out at me <laughs> yeah thanks for tuning in everybody please like comment subscribe if you haven't we'll catch you on the next one